Hi and welcome to this short tutorial on transferring footage from a Canon camera using XF Utilities. First you'll need XF Utilities installed on your computer. This will be supplied with any Canon camera hired from Shift 4. Install XF Utilities version 1.2 from the software disk. Once this has been done, install the 1.3 update for use with C300s. There are two ways to transfer footage in XF Utilities. In the first method, go to XF Utilities on the toolbar and select Preferences. Click Browse and select the folder that you created for your footage to be put into. Then click OK. Finally, select the card of footage which will appear as a square symbol and click the backup button to start transferring. XF Utilities will create a new folder in your selected folder made up of the date backwards and some numbers after. This could be changed to anything you wish. With the other method, go straight into XF Utilities and click the cog symbol to create virtual media. This is basically creating a folder for your footage to go into. On the next window, select the location for your folder and name it. Finally, specify whether the footage you selected was shot in PAL, NTSC or 24p. This virtual media will now appear in the column on the left. To transfer your footage, simply select all the thumbnails on the card and drag and drop them into the virtual media you created. If you want to view some footage you've already backed up on a hard drive, you need to set the folder as virtual media. Go to file on the toolbar and select virtual media. Browse through your hard drive and select the folder before the contents folder. Also make sure that the folder you are selecting has nothing like dashes or backslashes. It has to be labelled with letters or numbers. No symbols or an error will occur. Once set, the virtual media will appear in the left hand column. If you have footage from a C300 which has been shot using the Canon Log Gamma Curve, there is a useful feature where you can tick and untick a lookup table which will correct the footage to give an idea of how it will look once graded. If you continue to have any problems, please contact the technical staff at Shift 4.